Denver 7, weather action day in effect, even though right now conditions are quiet, but we want to give you that advance notice about what's coming up in about the next 12 to 18 hours. So it's quiet and dry on the Pearl Street Mall in Boulder. It'll stay partly cloudy and cold throughout the area this evening. 32 degrees at 7 p.m. down to 25 by 11 p.m. Today was a bit milder than yesterday and certainly would be warmer than tomorrow or Friday. 42 was the high, 20 was our low. The averages are 53 and 26. No precipitation today on a sunny day. Currently, it's 33 at the airport, 38 degrees downtown. Barometers falling ahead of this approaching storm, and the air quality is good. So there is the Arctic front, and it is moving southward. Now, along that front, there will be an area of low pressure that's going to develop, and that will increase the snow potential as this storm moves across Colorado. By morning, the front has moved into northeastern Colorado. There's some light snow there, but the rest of the state is mostly clear and not all that cold. With the low dropping down to about 19 at Grand Junction, we'll see 18 at Salida. To the north of us, still in the 20s, but it won't get any warmer than that tomorrow, except maybe by a degree or two as the cold air spills in. Along the front range, teens in the mountains by morning, upper teens to low 20s expected at lower elevations. There is the front at 6 a.m., which means the morning drive for the Denver area is dry. Now north around Fort Collins and Greeley, you start to get some snow even by about 6 a.m., and a little bit in the mountains as well. That front is going to slide to the south and to the southwest. The snow increasing by midday. We're getting snow windy and colder in the afternoon. That snow gets heavier and the roads will be slick, especially from Denver to the north. The temperatures tomorrow don't really go anywhere. We'll see the highs just in the mid to upper 20s, and that'll be probably about midday and falling into the teens by this time tomorrow afternoon. To the west, it'll still be in the 40s, even mid 40s down toward Cortez, and we'll see low 40s over the south southeast part of the state. Here is the map late tomorrow with that snow increasing. Now as the evening goes on, we'll get our heaviest snow starting about 10 p.m. tomorrow night and going until about 3 a.m. Friday morning. By 6 a.m. Friday, it's very cold, slick roads, the snow diminishing. As far as how much snow to expect, it's not going to be a huge storm, but we'll still see about 6 inches in the mountains, and we'll get about uh, 3 to 5 in the I-25 corridor, lighter amounts to the north and to the east. Seven-day forecast tomorrow. An action day and Friday through the morning hours. Very cold, the snow coming in. But by Saturday and Sunday, things really change. Check this out. Here's the map late tomorrow. That storm drops down here. By Friday, we're clear. By the time we get to Saturday, mild and dry weather. And that continues into Sunday and early next week. So beautiful weather Sunday for the Broncos game against the Raiders. Really cold next two days with snow. Cold Saturday morning, then 42 in the afternoon, then it's 50 Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday's upper 40s, and Thanksgiving looks like 40s under a partly cloudy sky. But be ready for this Arctic front coming in at least for the next two days.